What's going on everyone? This is the Tech Boys and this is my software overview of the Nokia Lumia 900. So of course the Lumia is running Microsoft Windows Phone Mango. Now let's go ahead and if you never use Windows Phone uh, it's a little bit different than iOS or Android so I'm just going to go a little over how it works, what I don't like about it and what I do like about it. So first let's go to the lock screen. Um, displays your notifications if you have any. Um, also music controls will be at the top if you are playing anything from uh, a third party music app or even built in Zune player. So to unlock slide up, pretty simple. And this is basically the home page of Windows Phone. Um, they're called tiles and you can definitely definitely know why it's just tiles of squares lined up and you can scroll down with them there are some tiles that are rectangular and some are squares it's not customizable so calendar will always be a rectangle pictures will always be rectangle and some will be always be squares and these are basically like shortcuts um, to launch your apps if you wanted to go into calendar tap on calendar again it's pretty simple uh, these also give live tiles which basically means the tile will give you information as it comes to your device if I have two missed calls and a voicemail there would be a three here letting me know that I have three notifications on phone if I had two text messages it would appear under messaging so I'm gonna go ahead and do a test a test text message to this device right and it is being sent you can tell that it appears right at the top and if I can choose to ignore if I like or I can tap on it to go into the application and you can see it goes away and you can tell by the picture in the tile that there's a one and what's really cool is if I send more text messages so I'm gonna send another and another You can see the facial expression changes on the tile, which is really funny. So I like, go check your text messages. And you can see, um, also, also third party applications can take advantage of live tiles. Like this is the weather channel application. You can tell it pushes a live feed of weather. So I have a weather tile showing me what the weather, the current condition and the temperature. Even more like mail and pictures will show any active pictures that I've been taking. And of course there's a ton more. Uh, you can even do live tiles within applications like, I'll give you another example like, let's say I'm, gas is expensive so I always, I always want to know what the prices is at one of my gas stations I go to a lot. So I'm going to launch the application, I'm just going to search for a Let's just say I lived in New York. So I'm going to go to New York City. And I'm going to find the best price. So this is uh, the cheapest gas, Delta. So what I can do is I can go to that gas station. And what I can do is I could pin it to my home screen. So it's going to ask would you like to and you can tell that I've pinned it. It's going to update automatically what the price of the gas is going to be whenever it changes which is really cool if you always want to check. It gives me the address and that's pretty awesome. Again, Windows Phone is all about these live tiles. Um, if you scroll to the right you have your full list of applications, uh, built in applications and third party apps that you've downloaded from the marketplace. What I really love about Windows Phone is you can uninstall the third any kind of apps, not every app, but any of the applications extra that they have included. 
like on this device there was about a few AT&T preloaded apps if I compare it to the stock black Lumia I uninstalled AT&T radio, AT&T Uverse mobile, AT&T my wireless and I just kept AT&T navigator since I'm subscribed to that and AT&T code scanner so I can scan QR codes which again that isn't really necessary like I said there's a back button, there's a home button, and there's a search. That's going to be found on all Windows phones. Of course, it just takes you back to the home screen. Uh, back button, it could be from exiting an application or going back in the browser and then search. It's similar to Android. You tap on search and it'll take you to Bing search. That brings me to Bing. Bing, you could do pretty much a ton of different things uh, with Bing. If you look to the bottom, there's something called Scout, which will search uh, your local area for restaurants, uh, places to see, or things to do. Music, it's a built-in, similar to Shazam, let the music play, Bing will listen to it and give you the song name. Uh, Vision, which does QR codes, CDs, DVDs, and books. Uh, let me go ahead and do an example since this is pretty easy. I have whatever I just this is one of the books I have on me right now so if I go to vision I basically just scan it and Bing will start searching and then once that's done I can put the book away and it brought up the book it will show all the results of where I can buy it etc you can even do search so you can search Bing using your voice well, I really another thing I like about Windows Phone is this camera shortcut button. It's always it's on all Windows devices, so you have quick access to your to your camera, even though it could be locked. So all I do is tap and hold, and it will automatically launch the camera app. So I can go ahead and take a picture of something. This is a two-level. Button. So if I press halfway, it's going to focus. When I press all the way down, it will take the picture. And there is a picture I've just taken. It also gives me options to zoom in, as well as your settings, uh, your scene modes, exposure values, white balance, ISO effects there's just a ton of things you can do in the photo app the resolution you want to take the picture if you don't want the 8 megapixel you can do it in 7, 3, 2 alright so what else is unique about Windows Phone Windows Phone actually is really integrated with your social network application so everything is within you can access your Facebook account you can Twitter your Gmail your Windows Live account and a ton more social networks and basically they're all built all within the OS they're in your contacts they're in your me hub they're in your messaging and you can even, in your MeHub, you can post your status to multiple social networking sites. Sure, you can do that on Android with third-party apps, but this is all built into Windows Phone. If you start a Twitter conversation on with someone on Twitter, duh, you can continue that conversation in your text messages. So it will be an all in one thread, which is convenient. Windows Marketplace. This is... um. Again, it's not as good as iOS or Android, but it has a lot of um, applications, the majority like Facebook, Twitter, um, banking apps. So they do have a good selection of apps. There are some apps that I can't find on this device. Um, there's no actual official Pandora or, or Instagram app. But I found some third party clients that can do that. I've downloaded Instacam, which is an Instagram client, and you can 
do everything you can like you can comment and do effects on your pictures just like Instagram it's not as good as the iOS version but it gets the job done also Metro Radio is a uh, Pandora client I can log in with my Pandora account and play all my radio stations I have and it works just as good as the Pandora on iOS I can play music in the background you can also do Tango video calls, so using that front-facing camera, anyone else with Tango on iOS or Android, you can video chat with them. You also notice this, um, this user interface is Windows Phone. It's always going to be scrolling to the right, so this is one list view. Scroll to the right, you get to the next. And you'll notice this in a lot of apps on Windows Phone, like from the Marketplace to Facebook and Twitter and all sorts of other apps. So again, it's third-party apps are actually learning from Windows Phone operating system and impl implementing that user interface in their apps, which just makes it more consistent and you know how each app works. Of course, you can uh, register your Xbox Live if you have an Xbox 360. Um, get gamer points, um, send messages to your friends and etc. And uh, Microsoft Office, do uh, limited editing. It's not a full version of Office, but you can do a lot of software editing from your documents to PowerPoint and Excel on here. Emails, you can have threaded emails as well as linked inboxes, which is good. That came with Mango, and as well as multitasking. So you just hold the back button, that is your multitasking. Um, you can easily scroll through, it will only show your six recent applications you've opened. There's no way to close it other than going into the app and then just backing out of it. So you basically have to back out of every app for it to be closed. Alright guys, so this has been a pretty extensive and the last thing I'm going to go through is the Internet Explorer. This is our web browser for Windows Phone. Um, at the bottom, this is a little different than other operating systems. To go, your URL bar is at the bottom. And you can go to websites like... I'm going to give you guys an example. I'm going to go to phonearena.com. And this is where the resolution of the phone actually is a negative on this device. So again, here I cannot read a single um, article from here. When I do that with other devices on the zoomed out, I can actually read it with like the iPhone or the Galaxy Nexus, the Galaxy Note. But with this, I can't because the resolution isn't as high as well as Windows Phone is optimized like that. Of course, when I tap in. I can still, I can read it now. It's not as sharp or as the font isn't as readable as other operating systems, but again, it gets the job done. Web browser is extremely fast on Windows Phone. It's very smooth. Um, I'm going to show you guys as soon as it finished loading. Tap in, it works fine. Zooming out. Pinch to zoom is fast. It's not as fluid as iOS or as some other high-end Android devices but it does get the job done but it does win with screen rotation extremely fast and I love all these gestures of the transition effects is really cool it just makes it a lot of fun to use of course you can uh, open other tabs as well as uh, pin web pages to your home screen if you want to check them out later as favorites and all that. So that has been my overview of Windows Phone Mango on the Nokia Lumia 900. If you never use a Windows Phone device, it's definitely a really different experience and I, 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 I like it personally. One thing I would like to see is be, being able to take screenshots on this device as well as a battery percentage in the top. Alright guys, thank you for watching my overview of the Nokia Lumia 900 software. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as check out our Facebook, Twitter, and our blog. And we'll see you next time.